All right, okay. So, what are we, we going to watch, you guys? Uh, wh which one? Which bad lip reading are we going to watch, you guys? I'm, I'm going to watch a bad lip reading to start. So, so which one? Have I seen the new Hutch clip? Um, you suck at cooking? What is you suck at cooking? Um, oh yeah, yeah, this is okay. What, 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 which one do you want me to watch? Um, pizza crust I've seen. What is this? Brioche grilled cheese. This looks kind of interesting. I'll start with this one. Place, but one day we ordered the grilled cheese sandwich off the kids menu and I was like, what is this? Did they make a grilled cheese out of a pancake? Oh, derp. Wait, no, 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 sorry. This isn't, this isn't actually, this is, no, wait, wait, no, no. Wrong, wrong one. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to um, try to find some. Let's see. Which one? Um, Sandwich of Justice, breakfast sandwich. Okay, let's, what's a breakfast? Previously burrito? on You Suck at Cooking. Hey, Douglas. John. It wasn't a homicide. They murdered two innocent eggs and made an escape. Or oh, wait, what is it? I believe you've been looking for me. I will. Oh, wait, no, this isn't an actual video, though. This is just like. Okay, some, so I'm going to try to find some wild bananas. Yeah. I've got my. Okay, let's see. Um. Panic fried beans. Okay, what is We're going to start by hunting down some wild long grain white rice. Ooh, perfect. Now we'll just crack this open and pour in one cup. Then we'll add in one and a half cups of tame water and a teaspoon of feral salt. Okay, standard. Careful. We'll put that on the stove on high. And wait until the water starts to panic, then turn it down to low until it calms TF down, um, then okay. throw in the pan ceiling for around 20 minutes. If you don't like canned rice, you can go hunting inside the crusty old crag of a log and pull out a rice nugget, then break that down into ricicles. Um, and if you don't like any form of wild rice, you can always use trained rice. This rice has been trained to play dead. But if you don't have any of the long green white rice I called for Sorry, when I wrote this rice? recipe, just use oh whatever my gosh. you have. Now we're going to dice a small red onion and a jalapeno, or any color onion and any color jalapeno. Okay. Then add three tablespoons of olive oil to a pan on medium heat. And once that starts to shimmer like a sexy robot, we'll add in the onion and jalapeno and wang jangle that until the onion starts to brown. Maybe okay. around seven Pretty minutes. Pretty standard, yeah. If you can't get a jalapeno, a really bad substitute would be a pickle or <laughs> green jello cut into the shape of a pickle. If you don't have one, don't uh, worry. It will pickle still is taste not exactly good, a jalapeno. Probably. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know for sure. Now it's time to collect some wild river beans. Mmm, perfect. Now we'll roll out the black beans, also okay. known as masculine blueberries, and put them in the pan. The way you can tell if your black beans are ripe is if you have black beans, then they're ripe. Now we'll scrape the bark off a cumin tree and add in 1.5 tablespoons. Then we'll scrape a chili vine and add in a teaspoon and a half teaspoon of salt or more to taste. Okay. This is a spice combination I've been fairly obsessed with over the past couple years. You can go so with bad. just cumin or some cumin and curry or whatever spice combination really satiates your taste really station during this safe staycation. While you fight stagnation while eating crustaceans, I assume. I don't really know. I don't know what you like. Now we'll wang jangle that together until it's so dry you almost panic, but instead add half a cup of water to the pan <laughs> until it's <laughs> right. so soupy you almost panic, Ooh, but then good, also this don't panic. Good. and just cook it off for a couple minutes. But jabbers, these beans are coming along nicely. 20 minutes have passed, so we'll remove the rice ceiling and fluff that with a fork. One cool fact about rice is that it's a good thing to eat. So now we'll spoon <laughs> some of that rice onto a plate and rice cover is a good it with thing the beans. Oh then you can eat it with a spoon or a fork or a spork or a spork or a spork or a maximum efficiency fork or a stick or a two sticks. Whatever tickles your fancy, <laughs> unless you don't have any tickling reflex. You suck at not cooking. Not bad, not yeah, bad. No, no rice cooker amateur? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what is there that's not going to make me really hungry that they have? Cheese beefy lasagna. Lasagna, also known as stacked pizza. Also known as flat layered spaghetti and smashed meatballs. Also known as pizza casserole. Also known as savory rice crispy squares. Also known as pasta brownies. Also known as mm -hmm. You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck. 
We're gonna start by browning a pound of ground beef on medium high. And we do this because brown is the color that has the most flavor. I'm adding in a teaspoon of salt here. I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit and then oh. season the beef. Either As you guys know, brown, that, that is not the reason you cook, that it's brown. It's brown because you have to cook the freaking meat because you can't eat raw meat or you're gonna die. Traditional boring way with an onion or the cutting edge modern way with a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of cumin and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Now, if you do season it this way, I recommend some hefty sock straps when you taste this later. If the beef gets too dry, add in some water so all those spices get soaked up like a meat sponge and resist the temptation to make tacos. I'm gonna throw in three cups of basil tomato sauce and we'll let that simmer until okay. it's a thickness level not of bad, three. Not bad. And feel free to participate in the Italian tradition called lick the measuring cup. Mmm, that's a damn good measuring cup. Now I'm gonna take a container of ricotta cheese and grate in a clove of garlic to give it some flavor because ricotta cheese is just milk that somebody did some things to to make it the way it is. Because you're mixing white on white, remember these simple steps to make sure it gets combined Whoa, thoroughly. Wait, wait a second, what? mixing white on white. What? This doesn't Mix sound good mixture vigorously. Always mix in the edges. Never give up. Get serious. Jostle the mixture to and fro. Always mix the middle, never get lazy. Give it all you got, leave no molecule uncombined, and enthusiastically end with exuberance. Gonna add in around a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella. Don't forget to repeat those steps. We're gonna take an okay. eight inch-ish pan, I think, and spread a thin layer of the sauce on the bottom to keep the noodles from sticking. We're using no boil noodles, which are noodles that have no boils on them. Then you're gonna realize that the noodles don't fit. So instead of panicking, you'll try to break one with your hands and that will <laughs> suck. So you use the edge of the pan instead, which oh works well, or an X-Acto knife, or a saw, or a wood burning kit, or a power stone. Whatever works, man, just get it done. Then we'll shovel some sauce on there. Then we'll spread on a layer of thick garlic milk. I like to use two spoons, flatten in place, flatten in place. I don't know if this technique is good or not, but it does make me feel professional-ish and smug, which is what cooking is all about. Make sure you're putting the noodles in flat and not this way, 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 and definitely not this way. This isn't the time to be a <laughs> maverick. We've known for several years now that laying the noodles flat just works. More sauce, more ricotta, mm -hmm. noodles, sauce, ricotta. Looks, I might it, have used really too much good. ricotta on that first layer, or maybe you don't need ricotta on the top layer since we're finishing it with mozzarella. Just create as many layers as you though. feel like. Don't listen to someone who says, if it's not at least three layers, it's not a real lasagna. Or, if the lasagna is in a minimum of three layers, I will I'll destroy, destroy you. you and everything you love and stand for, so help me God, amen. Then we'll create a sacred that, That's very true, by the way. That, this is support. actually a very good point. Like, I do know people where they do say that. It's like, if you don't, if you don't do three layers, it's like, it's not, it's not actually lasagna. So that's actually pretty funny that, that he says that, because it, it's true. ...structure to hold up the tin roof, which we put in place to keep the moisture in so the noodles cook properly, and also to protect the lasagna from rain. Undo's on three fundo, and we'll cook that for around 40 minutes or so. Peace be with you. While we're waiting, let's try to build a house of cards out of the noodles, which is tricky because they're pretty slippery, but also they have ridges you can take advantage of. And then we'll try playing the world's shittiest game of Jenga. Jenga? Oh, oh so oh close. Then we'll remove that foil, up the temperature a bit, and throw it in for another 10 minutes. And also with you. Oh man, this lasagna is busting at the seams with lasagna-ish goodness. Good. Then you want to let it rest for 20 minutes before cutting it so it doesn't turn into a bowl of slop, which is a great time to prepare our letters and numbers. Then we'll cut it into a grid and lay out our organizational system so that anyone can easily select the piece they want without confusion, or so you can play a game of lasagna battleship. I'll have Whoa, B1. Oh, thank you to Gotham Chess. Thank you for the host with 787 viewers. Thank you so much to everybody from Gotham Chess. Hope you guys are doing very well. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. Um, those of you guys who are coming from Gotham Chess's channel, I, I am doing some reaction right now. I'm taking a little bit of a break from Chess, but I will get back to Chess in probably another 30, 40 minutes. Um, right now, just watching some reaction videos. So once again, thank you so much to Levy. Hope all is going well back in Nueva York. You sunk my apparently buoyant lasagna. Also, use this hack for anyone who thinks there aren't enough layers and just stack two pieces. Boom, thick lasagna. And this now I'll stack one really more good, piece so I can create the perfect clickbait thumbnail. 
And I hope you can forgive me for this deception, but no, I did it to teach you not no, to believe still, everything tasty, you though. see it on the tasty. internet. It's not actually, or to punish no, you. No, actually, for... you're right. You're right, you guys. It, it does look a little bit dry. A little bit dry, but it's still, it, it's got to be pretty good. Thinking that a bigger lasagna is a better lasagna. Maybe it's time to give short lasagna a chance. Maybe it's time to realize you shouldn't judge a lasagna by its height, only by its girth. Amen. Hey, speaking of lasagna, why don't we give this a try? Mmm, damn, that's a good lasagna. And damn, I've got good taste in socks. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which makes conquering the kitchen possible. All right, someone said watch The Secret of the Moon. What is this? The Secret of the Moon? Secret of the Moon. What is this? Secrets of the Moon? Is, is this what you guys want me to watch? What, what is this that you guys want me to watch? Yeah, yeah HelloFresh ad. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's why I stopped the video. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay. All right, let's... Um, well, with easy... Let's see, what else do they have? Um, watch Critical's new video. What, what is Critical's new video? I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen it. What's it? It's Penguins Zero, right? What's his new video? Or, wait, yeah. What's his new video? What, you mean this one? Gwyneth Paltrow's? I mean, I'm not going to watch that. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll watch something else. Okay, I'll watch a bad lip reading. History of the Entire World, I watched that before. Um, which ones of these have I not watched? Um, so let's do this one. So they're making me the judge in some kind of huge world leader contest. Okay, yes, we told him he was going to be the judge. But literally, it was the only lie that could get him there, because he gets really bored in meetings. Whee! Great chair spin. There's Tony. Digging the formal shoes. I like oh, those. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're cute. Thank you. I like it here in Vermont. It's cool. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> if we can just stand here and sway. Hey, throw this trash away. Okay, that too. Okay. Doesn't he look like he should teach at a university? Yeah. Frank. Hank. Ooh, Diet Coke. It's here because I brought it. Mine. It's mine, right? Everyone here is having less fun. Chat, for the last time, we had we had this discussion yesterday. This is not TOS, you guys. Like, stop saying it's TOS. You can't have someone come on a video, and you can't do a stream around around someone who's banned. But this is not TOS, you guys. Like, geez, like seriously, chill out. This is not TOS. Tell your friend to let me go. Hey, you feel like you want that? Huh? Do you want that cake? Yeah. Yeah. Could you give me a bite of it? <laughs> As my favorite charmer, he's here. And now if we look at the penguin. Ha ha ha. He he he. I'm kind of cramping up, so probably avoid the lasagna. Okay. <laughs> Friend, you know I'm not sick, so that was you, wasn't it? Yeah, no. No? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> is that you? Nobody thinks it is me. Got to stare right at the face. Can I sniff your ears? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is so awful. Nice dress. Thank you very much. That is so I awful. Up on it. Oh. Hey, 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 leave her alone. Hey, so maybe awful. you heard of me as the big whipper. Wood and gravel are your leading products. Yeah. Uh, really? Yes, yeah, sticks. Yeah. Sticks of wood. Oh. You have herpes, yes? Are you saying hairpiece or herpes? Like when you put much more hair on top. No, I don't have herpes. I just now realized something. You couldn't make a starfish any quieter because you can't hear a thing. <laughs> Ever eat a poodle? You should look at your pores. It's so big. He will ride your bike. That huffy is bullshit. Um, you're joking, okay? I, uh, I could get an Uber. Vermont's been fun, but I got big news. 
I'm going to Seoul now. It'll be great to finally be in Asia. He's gonna find me a drink. A cola. Since there wasn't one at the Cookie Cafe in the mountains. Boo. We're having a good day, I must say. I looked at some foreign stuff here, like a thick giant eagle. I held a baby that looked like a peanut. Like with the shell. It's weird if you're not expecting it. Later, I walked very slowly over to the DMV to meet my buddy Kate. <laughs> the DMV. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What did you say to me? Uh, never mind, bud. Never mind, Bobby. This guy's a riot. Okay, go get the apple I brought him now. It, it's in the fridge. <laughs> Just go ahead and get him the apple, and he'll eat it. Um, yeah, I don't think that's too smart. Unless you maybe eat a little of it first, because uh, is it really clean? To show that it's cool to eat, wiggle your ear. <laughs> uh oh. I'm sorry. Hey, bud, it'll be fine. I think that you'll kind of learn from this. But what lessons had I learned during my travels? Well, I learned it can be a bad idea to work with family. I don't like your suit or your tie. <laughs> oh, really? It's true. I don't care. <laughs> Ah. Most disturbingly, I found out that ketchup isn't really from an animal. It's a vegetable, and now I'm scarred. Give me your no, hand, please. Give me way. your hand, give me your hand, give me your hand. Okay. Does it hurt? Uh -huh. now you... <laughs> Just give me your hand. Sorry, I have to watch it one more time. Let me go back here. Give me your no, hand, please. This give way. me your hand, give me your hand, give me your hand. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Now you will never have normal fingers. My powers grow much beyond the sea. Oh wow, that, that was actually really good. That ending part was give give me your hand, please. Give me your hand, yeah. Okay.